we have already seen some of the basic data types like string float integer boolean date and time dictionary is another data type that is more frequently used particularly in python let us try to understand where and when to use dictionary when we are running predictive algorithms as we all know if a column has string then it will not be able to be of much help for the predictive algorithm as it does not understand the string language all that it understands is numbers if you have numbers then we can definitely use that for building a predictive algorithm all right now supposing there is a string which is for example like a rating of an employee in your organization or rating of a student in a class excellent average very poor if these are the ratings that are given to an employee how do we ensure that we use this column for predictive algorithm purpose what we can do here is excellent would mean the highest rating among all the other kinds of rating so excellent could be given a rating of 5 and very poor could be given a rating of 1 so in that way we can replace this string column with the rating numbers of 5 4 3 2 1 and so on let's see how we can do that in python to create a dictionary let's say we are creating a variable called rating and for us to create a dictionary we have to use the curly braces and once i click on the enter button inside the curly braces we have a key value pair just like we have in a normal dictionary if you look at a dictionary we always have a word on the left and the meaning on the right so the word is like the key here and the meaning of that word is like the value so if we search for a particular key then we would be getting the value as the meaning of that word which is the key here did i confuse you all right in case if the answer is yes don't worry we shall get that confusion out of our mind once we start understanding how dictionary is used in python let's say we have a rating called excellent and as we discussed if we give that the highest rating of 5 and let's say we have another rating which is very good and it has the rating of 4 and then we have average which has got a rating of 3 and then poor which has got a rating of 2 and then very poor which has got a rating of 1 and all these ratings are separated by a comma so the one on the left is called the key excellent very good average poor and very poor are the key here and the values 5 4 3 2 1 are called the values here all right let me execute this now we have the rating executed let us just print the rating variable here it has all these key value combinations so for us to understand what is the rating given to the very good performers how can we do that the way we do that is we call that variable and inside the square bracket we just pass this text exactly as it is and once we click on the shift plus enter button so that's how we get the value here once we pass the key inside the square bracket all right now let me just type rating here and after entering dot once i click on the tab button it gives me what are the other options that i have so if i press key here and if i click on the shift plus enter button it says these are the key so all the ones all the text on the left these actually form the key similarly rating dot values all the values on the right side of the key right side of the colon are the values and now if i just type rating dot items here we have the combination of key and value as a tuple separated from one another well we shall come to the tuple in our upcoming tutorial but just for your understanding here all the key value pairs are combined into one single tuple all right right now when we created this dictionary we just had these five keys here all right supposing from this existing rating where we have the key value pair we want to add another key and a value to it how can we do that there is one option we can straight away add here that additional key value combination but there is also another way of doing that 
using the square brackets. Now, if I say a rating, and inside the square bracket, I, let me let me add another kind of performance, which is exceptionally bad, or let me say exceptionally good. Why go for some negatives? And we want to give him a rating of six, who is likely to get a double promotion. And now, once I click on Shift plus Enter and display the rating variable again. We also have this exceptionally good as six. But here, if you see, in most of the cases, the dictionary is not is jumbled. It doesn't come in a proper order. But if we call the key, then it would display that particular value. So that is the best part of dictionary. Now, dictionaries are more frequently used in Python. Let's see how it can be used in R, though it is not used as much. But let's see if we have to use a similar concept like we have in Python, how can we use that in R? Now to use this dictionary in R, we need to install a package called hash. And to do that, we can just go to the tools menu, click on install packages and type H-A-S-H. -H. And once we click on the install button, the installation is complete. And now we can use this library. And to call the library, we use the library function H-A-S-H -H. and let me click on the run button here. After calling this library function, now let us use this same variable called rating in R as well. And now to create a dictionary in R, we have to use this hash command here. And inside hash, we have to pass the key, all the keys together and the values together. So this particular part of the dictionary in Python will have to be written in this way. Keys equal to, and since we have more than one element, we have to use the combine operator. So let me say, excellent. All right. And now we have to pass the values here and the values will be. So once again, now we have to pass the all these values which were on the right side of the colon. So it will be five, four, three, two, one. So after we have clicked on the run button, let's see what we have inside the rating variable. So rating has very poor is one, poor is two, average three, very good four and excellent five. So just very similar to what we had in Python. And if we have to insert a new key value combination like we did over here, something like an exceptionally good performer, the way we do that is once again, very similar. We just have to call the rating variable and inside the square bracket, let's say exceptionally good. I hope my spelling is correct, equal to six. And once I click on the run button now, let me print rating again. And now we also have the exceptionally good performer with a rating of six. So that's how the dictionaries are used in R. And there is another way of using dictionary in R, which is using the list function, which we learned in our previous tutorial. So for example, if I say another variable rating underscore two, and if I say list, and then if I say excellent, And now once I click on this run button here, and if I display rating two, we have this displayed in a little different way. But if you just want to find what do we have in rating two, and here we have to use a dollar symbol. So of course I've spelled excellent wrong. Now if I want to know what is the rating for poor, and if I click on the enter button, it would give me the answer as two. List in R can also be used in a sort of similar way as the dictionary in Python. But I would suggest if at all we need to use dictionaries in R, hash would be a good library to start with. All right, so that was about dictionary in R and Python. I hope you found something useful to learn in this tutorial. If you're liking my tutorial, 
please do subscribe to my channel so that you get an immediate update as and when I upload new videos. If you have any doubts, suggestions, feedback, please do post them in the comment section. See you in the next tutorial. Thank you very much.